Hey, how's it going? It's Kay Marie, and I wanted to go ahead, I'm about to head out, so I was going to go ahead and make a video and get ready today. Um, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me um, Foundation in Dewy and Smooth today, along with the Fit Me um, Shine Free Balance Foundation Stick, and I'm going to be using the foundation stick for my um, bronzer, like, um, contour as well as the Maybelline Instant Age Your Wine Waste Dark Circle for my concealer. Um, also today going to be using the Banana Setting Powder. I got this one right here um, um, in a Ipsy op op offer uh, a while back, a couple months ago. And then I'm also going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And, um, okay, and first and foremost, I've already did my Neutrogena Hydro Boost, um, skincare, like washing my face and putting moisturizer on, but I'm going to go ahead and put some eye cream on for under my eyes. And today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Revitalift, um, eye cream. I'm just going to put a little bit under both of my eyes in the top. And I'm going to go ahead and put them both on both, both of them. Tap, 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 tap. We're going to go see um, a movie today. So, I'm just going to put some of that on. And then I'm also going to be putting the Olay Regenerous. This is my favorite. I've been using this for years. It smells amazing. does amazing. I immediately seen results when I started using it years ago, and it it's um it's been a favorite of mine. And it's it's a drugstore brand. It's only like twenty five bucks, and if you haven't used it, really try it out because it is amazing, and I love it. It's a really good, really good moisturizer. I'm gonna put that on. Pat pat pat. Put it all over my face. And yeah, put my stuff out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I got this in an Ipsy offer. I'm going to be using this Smashbox Photo Finish Primizer. It's like primer and moisturizer in one. Do a couple pumps of that. And just pat it in my skin. And then I'm going to be going over with the Esther Lauder. This is a matte perfecting primer. I'm going to be using a little bit of this one too. And just put that in my T-zone. It's right here. I'm just pushing it in my cheeks right here. I'm going to make it really tacky. Okay. Okay. And we're going to go in with the Spit Me foundation. So I haven't made a video, and I have a one to upload. I haven't uploaded it yet, but I'm going to upload it today, and along with this one. So I'll have two videos to upload. I have been sick. Um, I was sick this past week for like three days and it felt like the flu. Someone had to look at my flu shot, but I'm guessing it was like a head cold. It was like three days in a row. My head was hurting. when I Even when I moved it, it was hurting so bad. And then also my throat it was killing me. I really like this foundation. Um, it does really good. I usually use the Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation, but I started, um, I got this Dewy and Smooth Foundation um, last month, and I started using it. And the finish is really nice. I really like this finish. And it's very affordable. Everyone knows, like, the Fit Me Foundation is really good, really nice. 
really nice looking. It goes on really easily. It blends well. And has, just like the matte and poreless, this doing and smooth has a really nice finish. So. So. There you go. And then I'm going to go in with some Instant Adri Wand from Maybelline. Put some of that on. And I like this Adri Wand. Um, it's a treatment, so it's not only that covers up your dark circles, it's also a treatment too. And I can't remember which video I watched, but I was watching one of my subscribers and they were using that. And I used it the first time and had seen the difference. Um, so, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good foundation. I mean, a uh, concealer, sorry. <laughs> I was watching Vampire Diaries and got got distracted on what I was saying. So it's Halloween, as you know. Um, or about to be Halloween. It's that month. That time of year. Spooktacular. Every year I watch um, Casper. Um, and I watch Hocus Pocus. Um, when I was growing up as a little girl, um, we used to always watch... Um, tales from the crypt take from the crypt teller, um, the crypt keeper, and I haven't seen that on TV in years, but I used to watch that every year too. Um, so I'll look those up, those videos up on YouTube or something, and watch those this year too if I can't find them on TV. Um, that way I have. I'm just gonna keep patting, blend it in, and um, that way I can watch all of it because they're really. Those some of my Halloween movies and shows that things that I watch every year around Halloween, like nonstop. It's like the best things for me to watch. If you haven't seen them, I'm pretty sure everyone has seen Hocus Pocus, but if you haven't seen it, then I would definitely, definitely check it out. I'm gonna get some of this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, and I have this. What do I have it? I'm in 20 and light medium. I'm just hoping this is still my shade. I'm just going to tap on my brush and tap, 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 and then just go ahead and set my foundation. Tap. Do this and tap, tap, tap. I'm just going to set it before I do anything else. Set my foundation and concealer all over. I'm going to put this Maybelline Fit Me powder up. And I'm going to go on with this wet... <sighs> Sorry. I'm going to go on with this wet beauty, um, this beauty sponge. And then I'm just going to... And I usually get some spray and spray it. I'm going to grab this tart setting spray over here in a minute. And I'm just going to pat it in. Make it look like it's natural, like so, so powdery and cakey. Just pat it in. The sponge and make it look natural. Pat 
that in and just give me one second. Can I go quick? I'm gonna grab this. Uh, just gonna grab this really quick. Um, this is the Tarte Get Ready set. I have like a little tiny bit left. This stuff is really good, but I'm just going to set that and just pat, pat, pat. that in really good and I'm gonna go in with this fit me shine free and balance foundation stick and I'm just gonna do some blend a blender get some let's see my brush Kabuki brush from Luxie 538. I'm just going to get it up in the motion. Mm, I'm going to do a little bit more of that stick. I'm gonna give me some bronze up here. I really need do some bronze up here on my forehead and around my face. A little bit more up here. And what do that? My kabuki brush. I'm gonna blend it in really good. On my forehead. I blend this in really good. I'm gonna blend this in really good, guys. Go. Okay, so put that kabuki brush away. I'm gonna go in with my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula, and I have Sun Kissed Bronzer. Oh, it smells amazing. I love this stuff. It smells so good. I'm gonna go on my Morphe brush. This Morphe brush is so, so messed up. I'm going go on my Morphe brush. I can't remember what brush this is, but anyways. And I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna go in. Same places that I put it in earlier on both sides. I'm going with my hairline at the top and all around. Just blend it in. Blend, 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 blend. Like a nice bronzy. Can't put that away. And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and um, today I'm just gonna put some gel on. So I'm gonna use a 24 hour brow setter from, hey baby. I'm just going to just use some brow gel and just set it like this on both sides and 
I'm not gonna really do my brows today. I'm just going to put some brow gel on. And call it a day. So, okay. So, that's that for that. And then I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Snow Bunny. And this is the Illuminizer. And I'm gonna go in with this brush. Pat, pat, pat. It's like a bronzer luminizer, but it's really good for a blush. And then I'm going to go in with my Morphe brush. And this is a brush. I'm not even sure, but I'm going to go in with my Studio Fix um, powder. And I'm an NC, NC40, my Studio Fix powder. And I'm just going to... Studio fix in. And we get some more setting spray and set that in. And fan that. I'm going to go ahead and get some. I'm going to be using this right here from Dear Delilah. I'm going to be using these little. And I got these in an Ipsy offer, and they're really pretty. I'm just going to get these and put them on both of my eyes. It's going to be real simple, just like a kind of mauve look today, just real simple, a little bit of glitter, a little bit of mauve, like this. Put this in the crease. It's like a two tone here, a two tone here. So first, I went in with this one right here all over, and then I'm going over this one right here in the crease. And they're both kind of like a mauve. I know my lighting is bad, but they're both kind of like a mauve color. I'm just gonna go in the crease because today was really about the foundation and the Maybelline um, concealer and all. So I'm just gonna be doing a simple, just a simple look today on my eyes and then I have another video I'm going to be doing later if not tonight tomorrow so when I upload I'll upload like two or three videos for y'all to see because I'm going to be using the new cat um it's not new but I'm going to be using well it's, to me it's new I just got it um it's the Kat Von D shade and like um glimmer eye palette that I got. I'm super excited about using it. I cannot wait. And then I have this two-tone one, the Dear, Dear Delilah. I'm going to be going in with the light side first. I'll just go in underneath that on both sides. Keep it in really good. And then on top, he's the darker shade. It's got a little bit of a little bit of color in it and a little bit of glitter and go over that crease using the same brush not a big deal Let's see looks nice and then I'm going to go in this side over here and the opposite side and I'm gonna be using this glitter right here isn't it gorgeous it's so pretty. And I'm going to be getting a different brush. I'm going to be getting this Glamour Dolls brush right here. And I'm going to dip it in here. I'm just going to put it in the crease. And it's just a mauve glitter color in the crease over that other shade. And then put this one in the crease. Same side, same thing. Not bad, just something simple. There we go. 
Yeah. Okay, see? Not bad. And then I'm going to go on the, the other side. And this is a, a more like a shimmery color. I'm going to just like dust off my brush. You just same brush. I know you're probably thinking, you just same brush with this, all these colors. But yes, I'm just going to dust it off. Oh, that's some of my, my Tarte setting spray. It's on my face. Okay. And then I'm going to dust it off. It's really pretty, huh? I'll get my thing in a minute. And then I'm just going to grab this. And actually, you know what? I'm going to use this Morphe brush. I'm going to grab, and this is just like a little flat brush. I'm just going to grab this right here and put it on. And then I'm going to just put it on the eyelid. Make it nice. Cut it in my eyelid and just... And then I'm done with their Dear Delilah, for right now, the eyes anyways. And then I'm going to go in and just go over that real quick. Just dust it. So I'm going to the bottom, just go underneath it. And press that really good. Those bulk. And I'm gonna be using this Smashbox full um full exposure today as far as the eyelashes are concerned. I'm just gonna go over with this benefit and my shade is this goof proof benefit brow pencil just a little bit. Just go over the brow just a little bit on both sides a tiny bit. A little bit of color. A little bit of color. It's hard for me to see it, sorry. I'm trying to make sure I don't goof up. Goof up. Goof proof. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. And then I'm going to go in with this. I actually need a compact so I can see. And let's see, put some mascara on. You know, I recently just started wearing lashes. I've bought a couple lashes from the Ipsy Offers before. And um, I tried wearing them and I really do not know how to put them on that well. I'm not good at all with putting them on. I kind of suck and I know it takes practice and that's with everything that you do. Um. So I know it's going to take me time to actually get them, um, you know, where I'm actually good at putting them on. So I'm just going to keep practicing. And I won't, I'm not going to do lashes today, of course. I'm just going to um, go without them. Um, but um, maybe next time I'll put some lashes on. It just takes me forever to put them on. I'm really slow at them. But I guess the more that you do it, the easier it gets. So. I found some really cute ones called Girl Boss. And then um, some other ones. I can't remember the name of them. But they're from Tarte. And I'm thinking I'm going to go grab a couple of those. And then I'm going to start grabbing like maybe a couple from Kiss. And see what the difference are. I'm pretty, pretty sure there's probably not a big difference in the brands but try those two and see how those brands are and then um you know go in from there and see which ones I like but yeah um I'm gonna go in and this is this banana setting spray this setting powder 
it's got a little bit of um, like a shimmer to it, like kind of like an illuminating powder. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of it and um, and grab like one of these Luxie brushes. I got the 660, um, and I'm just gonna pat a little bit on the brush, and I'm just gonna put pat a little bit on my forehead, and just like pat it in. It's like illuminating powder, so it should look really nice on the skin. And just gonna pat it into my cheeks under my eyes. on both sides so and of course on my nose and on the chin all the places that that get oily like during the day that um I sweat and then my face starts oiling up should just like pat it in really good. It looks really pretty. <sighs> so. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it makes a really big difference on my skin. Especially to keep it to, for, you know, looking like natural looking, radiant. Um. And on top of that Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation, it really does like look amazing on. It's really skin-like. And I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some more mascara on and then put some of my bottom lashes as well. And then I'm going to just put some a little bit on my bottom lashes. I usually do the the Mac mascara on my bottom line because it's waterproof and it lasts longer and it looks amazing on. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do this on both. Okay. Do that. And I just need to grab, I'm gonna rather grab this kabuki brush and just make sure that my foundation is. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, so pretty. Okay, and I'm also going to be going in with this. Um, this is the Dear Delata Carmen in 807, the lipstick. I'm going to be putting that on today. And it's going to look really good with my shirt color.
Here we go. And it's got SPF in it, so it's like perfect. It's so pretty.